What's going on, Dragon Ball Z fans? Welcome back. My name is Unbeautertainment Gaming, and I'm joined here today by the Cod Brothers Gaming and Fatal Brotherhood. And today we're going to be discussing the possible endings to Revival of F. And before we begin, we just want to say that this is only prediction. This is only our opinion. This is a discussion video. This is no confirmation in and of itself. So we're pretty much going to tell you guys um, our standpoints on the movie and what we feel like is going to happen towards the end. So, um... I'm a, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. You guys are huge Dragon Ball Z fans. So so tell me, like, wh where do you guys see, like, the ending of this movie going about? Like, do you guys think that it's just going to be uh, villain arrives, villain kicks ass, villain dies by hero? Or is it going to be, you know, uh, villain defeats heroes? Like, how do you guys think this movie is going to, uh, you know, play out towards the ending? Uh, uh, maybe they keep Freeze alive. Who knows? Mm. And wh why do you say that? Because it, it, it just seems like Akira Tama does everything like that you would least expect. So I wouldn't expect him to just kill Freeze off again after going to so much trouble just to bring him back as a god. Oops. I think there's going to be like some... Maybe there's a god tournament out there to take Bill, um, Bill's place. Why, why do you feel like as if, it, as if this is a tournament? I don't know. I mean, I mean why, why would Freeze even like <clears throat> care about competing? I mean, he's remember how he was as a character? He never really... so long. Maybe he's got bored. Bored of what? He has eternal power. He has... Well, first of all, he has to get revenge, right? That That's that's number one, rule number one. You come back as a villain, you want to kill the person that killed you, right? And then, let's say he does get the job done in, in destroying, you know, Goku, Vegeta, Gohan. He He's moves on to Beerus. The whole Earth. He's not giving you a fuck. I mean, he moves on to Beerus and Whis. Like, do you think... I mean, I don't think that's a challenge. Like, for at least for them. How could it be? Whis is training Goku and Vegeta, right? I believe so. Okay, Especially so. with the insignias on on, on their uh, on their Armor. clothing, like it says a lot. But what what about you, Paul? Like, where do you see this movie? Like, do you think it's gonna be like like a like a cliffhanger? Do you think it's gonna be a solid ending? Like, I think what... it's, if it was a cliffhanger, that's gonna suck because that means we gotta wait every two years for another movie. But that's good though, isn't that what you want? I want to see a series, bro. I want. Well, I don't, a we don't show know. How, to come back. Sadly, we don't know how long Akira Toyama has left with us, so I don't want them to have two year movies and then. Bleh. Because they, think. yeah, they just introduced like what twelve new universes. How the fuck are we gonna wait twenty four years for all the, for Seriously. all this to finish? <laughs> well, it doesn't necessarily have to be twenty four years. Um, I mean, it, it it leaves doors open, yeah. But we had a cliffhanger for Battle of Gods. Yeah, and, Battle and, of Gods and look is... where we're at now. We're on movie number two. Exactly, and that opens up a lot of things because the movie's longer. It has way more action. And it's centered around the, the the one villain that, you know, portrayed himself as being the overseer of the entire galaxy, that being Frieza. Um, more people in the universe knowing about him than any other character. So let's say, for example, right, Frieza becomes this almighty god, the god of whatever. He could be the god of, you know, war, destruction, demons, whatever. Frieza becomes a god, right? He, he goes on to battle Goku and uh, Vegeta. He defeats them, or maybe not. Uh, like, do you see Frieza as a villain just being written off again? Because practically, like, I don't know if you remember or not, but every single Dragon Ball Z moment that had Frieza in it planned to eradicate the Saiyans and, you know, uh, Fusion Reborn and stuff when he came back as a ghost. Gohan punched him once as a ghost. He died. Uh, when he came back with his brother Cooler and Turles and Lord Slug, the Z Fighters beat him up easily, so... Do you think he's he, he could be easily written off that can go towards a, a bigger, more broader story? Or do you think that somehow it's still going to be focused around him? He may not win, but he just might escape, perhaps, maybe? Well, I feel I, like there's... Oh, you go first, Paul. I feel like Akira Toyama's going for that nostalgia value with Frieza. Like, how many years ago did he first step foot on the scene? How many years has it been? Like, what, 20? Fucking 20 years? Give or take, yeah. Shit. And it's like, he just brought back Dragon Ball Z. How about we go for the biggest nostalgia value ever after opening up this new universe? So do you think this new universe is going to have some sort of, like, role? Like, do you think, like, all right, the real question is, do you think there's going to be an actual, like, hero? Or do you think another god might oversee what's going on in Universe 7 steps in because there's so much unbalancing going on and he just rids everything of, like, you know... Yeah, um, when you say unbalance, it's like, if is going to be another, he's going to turn to a god form, right? Yeah, supposedly. With every god of destruction, there has to be a god of life. Yeah, but, so. I mean, that goes back to Xenoverse. Uh, Demigra is the god of demons. So, 
does that mean yeah does that mean is there a god of life is there a god of creation power god of angels I mean, we, we don't really know. I mean, Beerus emphasized that there were more gods of destructions out there. Like, there were other gods that had that title in their universe. But that also goes back to what you say about, is there a god of creation? Even if there was a god of creation, right? Let's say there was one. What what could he possibly do? Like, restore order, yes. But to coincide with Frieza, like, are you saying that Frieza would be that unbalanced? And you're saying that even Whis himself, the most powerful in that respective universe, cannot compete with Frieza. Therefore, they need the help of somebody else to, you know, just restore balance to everything. Yeah, because oh, I don't know. Do you think Demigra is going to make an entrance? I don't know. I mean, Demigra is a very interesting character. We don't know too much of him yet. Um, there's been a lot of, you know, debate and, and there's been a lot of things going about suggesting that, yes, he is the god of demons and there's a possibility that he's controlling Mira and Toa, which backfired with everything with Xenoverse. But um, I don't know. Like, that's like saying another villain's coming by because Beerus is not a villain. Technically, he's not a villain, but he does definitely does some crazy shit. Well, that that's that's his job. He, yeah, true. He's the. That, 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 I mean, that's his job. So I I think what's gonna go down is this. Again, I don't think Goku's going to be the hero. I, a lot of people are, are fucking talking about that. Goku's going to win. Goku's going to... No, dude, when was if the last he makes time... Goku the hero again? No, but wh- when was the not... last time Goku ever was the hero? I mean, he, he legitimately never defeated anyone that's canon except for Kid Buu. Think about that really carefully. And Frieza. He, and Frieza. He, no, he never... I mean, no, he beat Frieza in a fight, but he never killed Frieza. That, that was Trunks. Okay, okay, okay. But, like, like he never really well, killed him. He had... He left Frieza with half his head, his like only part of his upper body. I think that's considered that's either a kill or rape at that point. Mm, I mean, I think that, and guys, this is just my prediction, our real ENT Gaming's prediction. I think that Frieza is going to reach a level where he's able to not only surpass Goku and Vegeta at like towards the ending, of course, that maybe he's able to beat Beerus down. And then maybe he's bragging about it. He's like, yeah, I just defeated the two idiotic monkeys that were taunting me before. I just beat your god in front of you. Who's left? What's up? I'm going to finish you guys off. Whis comes along. And I really firmly believe that Whis is going to be the hero. I think Whis is going to put an end to this. I think Whis is just going to sit back and watch everything unfold. And then finally... Really? Yeah, because I, I ho- look, look, look what Beerus did, right? Beerus, when he ate wasabi, he, he went ape shit. And he, he destroyed nine planets. In just a single rush. He destroyed nine little moon planets. Like with a single rush. Whis rushed him. And he was like yo that's enough. Like just chopped him once. A very simple chop. And he knocked him out. Like for three years. He knocked him out for three years. I mean I, like imagine somebody punching you right. And you get knocked out for a few hours. But you get knocked out for a few years. That's fucking strength. So I think that Whis is going to be the hero. I mean it, it, it's just so fitting. Because everybody's going to be like oh shit. Beerus is out, Goku's out, Vegeta's out. Who, who's who's left? Gohan? I mean... Wait, wait, wait. But what, what is Whis? What is his god of, like... Well, he, he's he's the martial artist of the of the universe. He, he's the martial arts expert. So I'm presuming... I, and like I said, I'm presuming that he's the god of creation or maybe the god of peace. Because he doesn't really do much. He's just like, all right, all, all peace, love, and harmony. Let me eat the food and let me just sit back and watch what's going on. Where Beerus is like... I don't like that planet. I think I might destroy it. Oh, Frieza's dead? Nah, good for him. I would have killed him anyway. So I, I think Whis is going to reach a point where he's going to be like, all right, enough's enough. Beerus couldn't get the job done. He's my protege. Goku and Vegeta couldn't get the job done. They're my protégés. I think it's time for me to show them how you should really take care of a situation. Because look back look back on Battle of Gods, right? And this is clear evidence. When Goku was on the ground after he got knocked out, King Kai was talking to him, and he was like, and then after he got up, I, I, I presume, he got up and he was like, yeah, I think we should fuse. Oh, wait, e- even fusion wouldn't be enough. Now, depending on what kind of fusion he meant, I'm taking it I'm taking it as if he meant either Patara or uh, Metamorph. But even if he, even if they fused, I don't think that, that'd even be closely remote to even coming close to comparing themselves to a god, don't you think? For Whis' Wee- level? Like, For Beerus, of- Whis, or God Frieza. So if Goku and Vegeta fuse, you don't think he would match Whis? No, absolutely not. I feel like I, Akira Toriyama I, I feel made like they could. Good. I feel like Gogeta could easily kick these. Kick yeah, him. I feel like... Kick um, whose ass? Uh, Whis' ass. No, absolutely not. I feel like the fusion between not those unless, two are going to be Not unless they're strong, probably yeah. a god. Yeah, a god form fusion, yeah. Well, uh, I, 
that that's that's another tricky question because Goku ranked six, Beerus ranked ten, Whis was highest on the chart, ranked fifteen. If Goku's a six, supposedly the the, the strongest among the Z fighters, and, and what Vegito's ranked three, I I mean I think probably either Fusion would rank at least thirteen or fourteen, maybe, but it, it can't be go beyond Whis. I mean. The martial arts expert of the universe. Think about that for a minute. He he will actually know counters to your counters. Like that right there just says a lot. What if well, it was... so, I mean, so how putting him in that God position, putting him in that position where he overtakes Frieza, I think that'll make sense because it's like, all right, enough's enough. You all had your fun. Now it's time for me to put this to an end. And Frieza gets cocky. Frieza's like, what do you mean? You you won't do nothing. I, I just beat Beerus down, the guy of destruction. I just beat. It nearly killed Goku and Vegeta. I'm going to finish this. And you want to step up? Go ahead. Step up. Watch me kill you. And Whis pretty much puts up a good fight and just destroys him. I I wonder if Whis would actually kill him. I think so. I think Whis doesn't play that shit. Or maybe he, there's like some overall grand scheme that Whis is trying to build. Like, what, what do you guys think is, is going to happen towards the end? Because I, I, I feel like that's going to happen. I don't feel like they'll kill Frieza. That that just seems too messed up. Like, really? Well, either way, this movie's ending in a cliffhanger. I guarantee it. Yeah, this seems right, so like you're no saying cliffhanger, way. complete hit cliffhanger, complete cliffhanger. There's no way they're just gonna be like, okay, that's the end of Dragon Ball Z. See you guys. No, next no, I mean, time. no, I, no, absolutely not. I mean, this take. I ironically, this takes place between chapters I think five seventeen and five eighteen, which is very, very ironic because it's right before the tournament. So, so maybe... the next movie, if there was one, would have to take place after they find Oob. Do you think it's after they find Oob? Is the question. That's I, because I guess Battle Gods and this, so 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 think about that for a second. All of these things that happened before Oob took place before Oob. It's like wow, like it, Oob uh, seems like small fry after this. Yeah, like I mean, I'm surprised Goku didn't accidentally kill the kid when he punched him. In the that's him. what I'm trying to say. It's like when he sparred with him, Goku shouldn't have been able to feel a single fucking blow. He he, he could have got hit, and he was like, eh, what was that? Like, I mean, but, the power of but then that would mean Oob's pretty strong then. Although, although that episode was made way before these ideas, gods even existed. fucking existed in, in in Dragon Ball Z. I feel that my ending is gonna be with Whis. So, Paul, what what okay. is your ending looking like? Because you said cliffhanger. So, give me your ending. I say Vegeta. Okay, Vegeta. I, I was thinking Vegeta as well. Oh, okay, wait. So, I, I would love that too. But explain why you feel like it's Vegeta. It's his time to shine because we keep seeing Goku in the fight, and they haven't shown anything with vegeta like i haven't seen him power up or anything like we saw in the battle of gods trailers he was going super saiyan and all this stuff but we never saw anything with him in this one so i feel like they're hiding him for some reason mm, so you're saying vegeta gets redemption there's no reason to put him in a new suit with the insignia and give him all that training just to not show him in the trailers they're hiding him okay so you're saying vegeta is going to be the hero Vegeta's going to get his revenge Fully, like not by yes. any help. It's just going to be him. He's going to step in and save the day. Because Goku, we saw him fighting Frieza, and if they just leave it at that, that's going to be whack. They got to get Vegeta to step in. No, I mean, there's no question about it. But I, I pretty much agree with Paul on this one. I mean, like, oh, so, so you're Riku... saying you're you're saying you would you predict Vegeta too? It has to be Vegeta. I mean, like we've seen Goku win. Not like he does do all the fights. Basically, that's him. Vegeta has always had to look up, like have to feel inferior to Goku. That's messed up. And now the bad guy who murdered his entire Saiyan race is back, and he's just going to watch Goku do it all over again? Yeah, it's the perfect chance for him to get his redemption. Perfect chance. Perfect. No, it, it would be awesome. You know, him being Frieza's slave, him being bitched out all this time. Yeah, it'd be cool, but... Frieza's butt buddy. Also, Free um, Vegeta has never beaten a fight, has he? Like, by him, like his own... Well, aside butt. from Pui Pui, yes. He's... Pui Pui. <laughs> he, no, he, he was the only one legitimately, like... They were oh, weak if you want to go back character. to Dragon Ball, he killed all those Cybermen. I'm technically, he killed Osai, man. Technically, he beat Goku in that first fight. He did, technically. He did. It was a 1v1, and he beat Goku. Mm. People keep people use the argument that he can't use the Great Ape form, but how is it fair that Goku gets to die and use KO Ken from another world and come back with the power of the Dragon Balls? Ah, oh, man. Goku lost that fight. They needed three-on-one for that fight. That's why. And Yajirobe. That's, a, that's like a handicap right there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Vegeta would be great, but don't you think that'd be so predictable? Because Akira Toriyama does what you don't expect. Like everybody in their yeah, but everyone's thought, expecting Goku's Goku to be the um the like the overall champion. But uh, this is where Vegeta finally has to get something out of this. Like, 
No, I don't I see why they would. I, I hate the fact that Kirtama is benching all of the Z Warriors. Even Piccolo got bitched. <laughs> well, they're all gonna fight the uh, the army. So imagine Piccolo re- receives God status. Oh, uh, God! Defeat- oh, that would be a giant like swerve. It's like whoa, Piccolo Cause, defeated Frieza. Because wasn't that- Pic- Piccolo like um, a Kirtama's favorite character at one point? Uh, that I do not know. I but it, it, all, it all dates back before Dragon Ball, but I don't know, man. I, I just, I don't see them including Whis in all these games and allowing him to, you know, be a playable character, but you've never seen what he can do. We all seen what Vegeta can do, and when, when he becomes a god, yeah, it's going to be awesome to see what, what he's capable of, but it, it, is it going to be something like, wow, I've never seen that before? Probably not, because we all have seen how Vegeta fights. Is he going to be more aggressive? Hell yeah. Is, is he going to be fucking a loose cannon trying to rip Frieza's head off? Yeah. But they Whis, Whis, of- Whis is such a majestic character that you don't know what he's capable of. Like, what? that that staff alone, like, what the hell? Imagine what he can do with that fucking staff. Imagine what he can do, like, when he's really fucking pissed off, you know? Wait, do you know why I also think they... that we're really going to see Vegeta sh- come into this movie really, like, balls to the wall and kill Frieza? No, no, Frieza? he is because, because Akira Toriyama but, said that. Not, like, in all the pictures I've seen of him, you remember when they first showed Super Saiyan God Goku in the movie, how he got skinnier and lean and all of that? In all the pictures with the Vegeta in that black suit, he looks way, way smaller. Way Wait, more lean. You, you mean in height? Not in height, in, in like his muscle, muscle size. His size. arms are super small now. I was thinking that, like, remember the last one they promised Vegeta he'd get God next. No, he will. Like that. That's what you guys are missing so, out on. Like, he, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's gonna like, be the maybe, main protagonist. I feel like, like he's Akira, already gotten Akira. the power, and he's lean now. So that means that's a huge indication that this guy's ready to fuck shit up. Yeah, he's ready to fuck shit up. But even if even if he's a god, like, he's not gonna do any different than what Goku did. In, I'm pretty in, sure he would. I doubt in, that. In an essence, I, like, I feel like. If he was able to surpass Goku in Super Saiyan 2, he would split bitch second. Frieza for like how long? Imagine the the capability. Yeah, he but that, has. that's what and I'm also to say. like we don't know what Frieza is capable of yet. Like uh, by him saying, "Allow me to show you my further evolution," that that could mean either maybe he found more than just one transformation, or maybe he found two or three. I feel like if they don't give him another transformation like Cooler, it's gonna be it's gonna be really boring. Because they did the same shit with Goku. He looked his Super Saiyan God form. It looks all right, but it wasn't as amazing as we thought it, it looks would. Looks all right. I, I I'm when, sorry, when, guys. I don't like Super okay. Saiyan God. When Goku went Super it, Saiyan, it was definitely a greater impact than when he went God. Yeah, but but no, Gita, I, on yeah, the other hand, we've never made that seen clear when he fought Beerus. That that's 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 another reason why Beerus was mad. He was like, "Aren't you happy?" He was like, "No, it's not mine." He, and he he beat the shit out of him. He was like, "What the fuck you mean?" And like he was like, "I'm gonna make you." And I was like, "Oh shit!" Like go back and watch it. Like right when they were in the sky, Beerus is like, "Are you happy?" about becoming a god and goku's like well no and beerus is like what the fuck why oh because it's not mine and that's what pissed him off he was like it's not yours huh you don't feel humbled and he punched him right through that fucking mountain because he's like goku was right though it's like he goku trains like crazy hoping to get strong yeah, but then yeah, he realizes yeah. a plateau he can never reach without the help of his friends that is true like none of them if you think about it like none of them can reach that kind of status none of them but then why is we training them Whis is training them perhaps maybe because he see. Well, I mean, look at the ending of Battle of Gods. He told Beerus, hey, I, there's a lot of potential in those two. And if they continue training the way they do, they can even surpass you, Lord Beerus. And Beerus is like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Do you got any of that wasabi? And that's when he ate it and then all hell broke loose. Like, Beerus didn't really care. Like, go back and watch it. No, I, I, I was supposed to watch that. Because now that you said that, times. I, I have even more reason to suspect Vegeta being the one to win. Because Whis never steps in. And he always sees things in the future through that, mir- that freaking Oracle thing. So... The reason why he's training them is because he's seen something in the future. Wait, no, no, and no, 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 you're, you're misinterpreting it. There's an oracle fish. The oracle fish is the only one that can predict the future. The staff, the staff is the overseeing uh, anomaly. That that's the, that's the thing that he uses to know everything. Like, remember when uh when Beerus is like, all right, where can I find this saying? Weiss is like, hold up, let me check. And it, that, that little staff is like his fucking Google. Like, all he needs to do is just look into it and bow. But maybe if they ask the oracle fish, hey, who who's the one? Who's the one between these two? Maybe the Oracle Fish is like, oh, it's the Prince. Maybe. I mean, would we all like to see that? Yeah, it'd be fucking dope. But th- there's no way. There's no way they're going to make this film and not have Whis do something predominantly important. There's just no well, fucking maybe way. Maybe Whis is like the one trying to, tr- like, you know how he's training them. Maybe he's, like, got some over... I'm saying he's got some overall goal. This, this isn't just about Vegeta and Goku. There's got to be something that's going to interlink yeah, to the next I, movie. I feel like he's going to pull a Mr. Miyagi and not step into the fight. Just train them. I don't feel yeah. like... So uh, so once again, you're saying Whis ain't fighting for shit, huh? 
Uh, he's just you're gonna see him fighting in the training sequence or training montage, but you're not gonna see him fight. Freezer. And, and even in the training montage, he's a god. Remember that, that. seems That's so out of like place. Seconds. I don't want to see him fight. Who wants to see Whis fight Freeza? I want to see Whis. Like Whis, yo, Whis is such a majestic character because I want if to see him fight the to bitch Freeza. Then I will be so happy to see that because Freeza. It's the Saiyan's job to kill Freeza. It's it not, is. It is. It's but not that is true. But remember, e- even Beerus has a big beef with Frieza, so maybe, maybe it's Beerus. I still say somehow Whis is gonna get in, in in the mix, man. He he just he, he can't sit by. He just cannot sit back idly and just say, oh oh, my, my protege Beerus got defeated, and so did the Saiyans. I'm just gonna sit back and have some of this wasabi. I, I don't see that happening. Been trying I mean, to replace Beerus for how long? You're telling me Frieza? What if? Because of Frieza coming back and being that strong, what if Beerus, Goku, and Vegeta all team up at the same time? There's no way Frieza could be well, that. That, that. That's that's what leads us into the speculation. We don't know how strong Frieza is. That like, would be bullshit if he's stronger than all three of them. Like, I, 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 the truth is, what if he does become stronger than Beerus? What if Whis offers him the job of God Destruction? Who to fucking Frieza? That'd be the most fucked up thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> he he was trying to replace Whis at the um. um he would replace Beerus, Beerus like movie. that. No way. He, he was trying to in the first movie. No, no, no. I mean, no, he suggested it. He was like, well, just in case Beerus kicks the can. And Goku's like, nah. Yeah, see, it, he suggested Imagine he suggested it to Frieza. Imagine Vegeta. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's actually a very good point. I mean, that's kind of fucked up. That's fucked up. That's really he's fucked up. Like, it's such a backstab to Beerus. It's You're like, telling me Vegeta wouldn't take that job? Vegeta would, uh, Vegeta would jump. Wait, in his current mindset of him being all humble and stuff, probably not. He had he had a midlife crisis oh, in the like I mean, in, the, in the manga. Okay, it's it's okay. He he would probably take this job. You think he would? I I, he I think in his I think in his current position he wouldn't. His control. The prince of all Saiyans becomes the the, the god of destruction. Yes, yes, but just look at how he went about battle of the gods. He 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 demoralized himself to protect his family and friends. That that takes a lot. Yeah, because he knew his strength wasn't that good. But when, as soon as he gets that strength, the cocky prince comes back. I think as soon as he gets his strength, the first thing is good. Kakarot, now third time. And it's like, oh shit. Like that, I would, that would be something. I would, I would love, love that see, if they but... show a fight between Goku and Vegeta in this. Movie. Yeah, Super Saiyan God fight. Oh Super my Saiyan God! God. <laughs> if that's the third movie, I will be so no, happy. What if they're doing that while they're training in this next movie? Oh, that, would be that, that, that I mean, that would be awesome to see. And Beerus, like, can you imagine they do that? And Beerus sits back after the fight's done. And he's like, Ugh. and he drops like whatever he's eating, and he looks at them, and he's like, no, no, no. Eh. Like, even better, he looks at both of them, and he's like, I'm not impressed. And then Goku and Vegeta get mad, like, what? All right, so how about this? Two on one, two gods versus one. Oh, that'd be epic. That would be. And fun. then Beerus is like, he gets up, he's like, all right, if you want me to demonstrate my full power, let's go. And then they have like this brief moment of battle, and then like it just we stop. He's like, that's enough. Wow, what happened? I, I, I'm I'm sensing some sort of disturbance. Like, what do you mean? Or he could have been like, you guys might have killed Beerus right there. Or, or, or like, uh, maybe Whis is the one that just kind of like senses something. He's like, wait a minute, so something's up real quick. Stop, stop fighting. And everybody's like, what? Why? You guys need to go to Earth fast. Like, why? He's coming. Who's coming? Lord Frieza. And fucking Vegeta's like, what? And Goku's like, yeah, that's time for me to kick his ass again. Goes to Earth. Frieza's like, oh. Sup, motherfucking monkey? I've been, I've been waiting for you for, like, what? How long has Frieza been waiting for him? Like, oh, my God. It's been, like, 20 years. No, no, no. No, it it's been be. way more than the that. The age of how, however old Trunks is, roughly, like, a little older than Trunks. Kid Trunks. Uh, damn. Holy shit. It's Probably been... two years older than Trunks because they said that three years till the androids arrive. And yeah. then baby Trunks is, like, one years old, so. Nah, maybe, well. Maybe 10? It has to be a decade or, or, or 11 years old. He, I mean, well, Trunks is about like what, 10, 11 years old, thirteen maybe. No, not thirteen. That's too old. Ah, uh, wait, no, because Gohan was <laughs> fought. Trunks cell. was eleven. Wait, 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 was Gohan 10. fought Cell. He was eleven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Technically twelve because of the hyperbolic time chamber. Okay. Yeah, but Pickle said eleven. Him. All right, but all right, let's say twelve. Um, yeah, it's got to be at least a decade. So this dude was in hell the whole time, or if if Kel's canon, by the way. He must have been somewhere, just wondering to himself, like, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna get him one day, and finally he, he's gonna get him. But the question oh, is, it, it's the, it's, it's the ending. How, how is this gonna end, man? Because this is definitely leading into something. Beerus is not gonna mention twelve gods, twelve universes, and not go about that. Yeah, you don't just put out a random number like twelve for no reason. I was wondering if um, Frieza would really be that pissed off being down there for ten, a decade. Like, would he really hold on to revenge for that long? Wasn't Are you he, like, kidding me? Man? Absolutely. Wasn't he a businessman, basically? 
he he sold planets and destroyed yeah, I mean, them. Like, he he went more for profit than anything else. Ah, uh, I don't. Know. He kept using the sands, knowing how dangerous they could be. He used everybody. What he he didn't care. He was deceitful. If you, if you if you fucked one thing up, it's just like he'll destroy like you along with the planet. It's just Doria, pass that ass over. Here. Exactly. So, but <laughs> let us know what you guys think in the comment section below about this. I mean, this is very interesting. We're only talking the ending. This is not any confirmation. We're just giving you guys our opinions. So. Thank you all for watching once again. This has been Unreal ENT Gaming, The Cobras Gaming, and Fatal Brotherhood. If you guys are fans, subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below along with what you guys think is going to happen because I'm sure by the three of us conjuring our opinions, a lot of you guys probably have a lot of opinions on your of your own. Um, I'm just waiting for that one guy to like fucking write, ah, Broly's going to come back and destroy everybody. <laughs> But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching once again. And uh, me and my Super Saiyan sandwiches are going to see you all in the next episode. Take it easy, everybody. Yeah, yeah, money! Money!